what's going on youtube man welcome back to another video now before we jump into today's video man you should have know what you should have been did like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed you know why because we trying to save the world we trying to save as many people as we possibly can so make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post nut clarity my guys now listen all right so you already know what you should have been did if you're not checking out the links in my description what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> but um you know make sure you join in the discord follow me on instagram um if you want to book a consultation with me all that all those all that good stuff will be down below now listen man check it check it listen so today i want to talk about i don't like i'm just i'm just freestyling on this video i don't know you know where the holy spirit is gonna lead me but i felt called to just tell you guys that you know if you're someone out there who's struggling in their life journey if you're someone excuse me if you're someone out there who you you're struggling on your life journey you're struggling in this thing called life you're not truly where you want to be in life you're not truly content with where you are in life you know you're you're not happy you probably feel depressed sad you probably feel lonely on a day-to-day -day basis you probably have anxiety you probably have an addicted um you probably have an addictive personality you know i just want to say to you my brother or sister in christ i just want to say to you the way to get over these things the way to get over these feelings is through christ that's the only way that you can get over these things All right so I want you guys to hear this message today that I want to convey to you guys. The only way that you can get over those feelings is through Christ, right? Because Christ, he gives us this un he gives us this unmeasurable love, right? He gives us this love that we can't find through anything else. You know, Christ gives us this this unmeasurable love that we can't get from anywhere else. You know, a lot of the problems we face today is because we don't have God in our lives. We don't have Christ in our lives. And that is why, that is where a lot of our problems stems from. You know, a lot of us, we grow up and we experience childhood trauma. And then we let these traumas dictate our future. We let these traumas just stick around into our adulthood, right? And that can be very detrimental in your life journey. That can mess you up in the long run. You know, and I want to speak in terms of like my personal experience, what I notice in my family, you know, because the Bible does say that, you know, the sins of the parents gets, hand, gets passed down to the children, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave that verse right here. Because now we have Christ, now because we have a, a savior to take us away from these sins, you you now have a choice whether or not you're gonna pick up those sins that your parents has, has left for you. You now have a choice through Christ to pick up the sins of your parents. Right. So you're, so whether or not you pick up these sins is solely on you. So I want to speak in terms of my personal, you know, just just my personal observations, just viewing my family members. Right. I have one family member and I and it's not even just one family member. Um, I notice between all of us, actually. There's a lot of traumas that has you know, corrupted us into adulthood, you know? And I feel like I'm the only one 
that's fighting against these traumas. I feel like in my family, I'm the only one rebuking these demonic traumas, right? I noticed that a lot of, I noticed that my siblings in my family, they have addictive personalities, you know, whether that's to, whether that's through drugs or through other things. You know, I noticed that's an issue in my family. And I noticed that, you know, there's a lot of things that are, there's a lot of wounds in, in not only myself, but in my other family members as well. But I feel as though I'm the only one who God has, you know, picked apart to notice these little things. You know, my other siblings, they're not willing to dissipate or work on their traumas. They're not willing to heal these things. They're rather just sit in these things and just sit on top of it. You know, and that's why I feel like God has chosen me, right? God has chosen me to bring light to these things. You know, and I noticed that a lot of people, they're living in sin right now based on the traumas, you know, from their parents and from what they went through at a very young age. You know, that that is why a lot of people are in deep sin right now. And I want you to know that you don't have to stay in your sin. You don't have to stay in your sin. You don't have to live in your sin. Right? There's hope. You know, so never feel like you you have to live through your sin. Never feel like you can't change a situation in your life. One of the reasons why I even started my retention journey is because I was tired of living a certain way. I was tired of feeling like, you know, I was worthless. I was tired of feeling like, you know, I was just nothing. I was tired of feeling like the the the, the odd man out. There's a point in time where I was depressed. I was lonely. You know, there was a time where I could have let all these things consume my mind. I could have let all these thoughts, you know, lead me to doing things that I shouldn't have done. Right? But I didn't let that consume me. You know, a lot of the times people don't don't have a voice. People don't have someone to tell them like, listen, if you want to do better for yourself, you got to do this. You got to do this. And sometimes that wake up call might be hard, but nothing easy in life, you know, to be a, a disciple of Christ, it's not going to be easy. Nothing that's handed to you, nothing that's easy in life is ever really worth it. The hardest things in life are always worth it in the end because it makes you reflect. It makes you have um, gratitude towards those hard things. It makes you embrace those hard things because of what you had to endure to get through those hard things. You know, so a lot of people don't have someone telling them like, listen, you need to do this. Listen, you need to do that. Gratefully, God chose me. Great, Gratefully, God had grace over my life. Even when I abandoned him, he had grace over my life. Even when I didn't truly have that relationship with him. You know, he still watched over me. He still was following me. He still never forsake me, even when I forsake him. That shows you the type of God we serve. Right. So thanks for, thankfully, by the grace that's over my life, I was able to pick myself up out of this world. I was I was able to pick myself out of, you know, that self pity. I was able to pick myself out of that depression state, I was able to pick myself out of all these feelings because of the grace that God had over my life. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you have to seek that relationship with Christ. If you don't know Christ, you have to seek that relationship out. You know, because a lot of people, they're, they're just walking traumas. They're just walking childhood trauma. You know, a lot of people, they resort to doing drugs, drinking, stuff like this. And it's because of their traumas. Their trauma is, is so much built up in them. 
and they don't know how to to let go of these things to where they feel like their safe place is doing drugs their safe place their safe place is is fornicating their safe place is you know drinking alcohol stuff like that you know we have to deal with our issues we have to give back all of these burdens onto Christ we have to if we ever want to progress in life we have to give back all these traumas onto Christ right if i if i was a person who was faint hearted you know if i was a person who wasn't a strong enough warrior i wouldn't be here telling you this message I wouldn't be behind this camera telling you this message right now if I was faint hearted. If I if I would have just let all those intrusive thoughts, if I would have just let the pornography take over my life, I wouldn't be here behind this camera. You know, and this is why I tell a lot of men, if you want to improve your life, even if you don't even know Christ, let's put it like this. Even if you don't have that relationship with Christ, the best way to start that journey is to start improving on yourself. Start improving on yourself, right? Because that's what I did, right? I didn't know Christ. I didn't know my identity in Christ. But what I started doing was I started practicing a, a righteous practice. I started doing something that was righteous in his eyes. So he slowly started coming back to me because unknowingly I was doing something that was pleasing him. You know, and eventually that led me to being where I'm at right now. So even if you don't even know Christ, even if you don't even know how to start, just start being celibate. Start retaining your masculine essence. For women out there, start going celibate. Stop sleeping with every and everybody you think is attractive, right? We got to stop thinking lustfully. If you want to seek out Christ, start by doing something like celibacy. And I promise you, there's going to be a, an effect to when you start practicing celibacy. There's going to be an effect because now you're going to start wanting to do things that are right. You get what I'm saying? And that and that essentially, that is how God wants us to live. He wants us to do he wants us to do holy and righteous things. So once you start holding on to your essence, it's going to naturally trickle down into other aspects of your life. You know, who you're worshiping, just, just holding on to your essence is going to lead you to the one and only true God. Just by you holding on to your essence, it's going to make you start eating better foods. Right. It's going to start making you want to take care of your body. A few years ago, I didn't care about going to the gym. I didn't care about eating the right food. I didn't care about serving God. A few years ago, that was me. That was the type of time I was on. But when I started retaining my masculine essence, I noticed that all these things started to change. Even when I was in the new age, even when I was in the new age, I noticed that even just a small micro thing started to change about myself. I just wanted to do better. And eventually it led me to Christ. So I want you guys to know that there is hope. There's hope for you. You know, your life doesn't have to be so hard. I promise you. Your life doesn't have to be so hard. Stop looking for love through other people and try to seek that love from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right. Stop seeking that external love. You know, because nobody can love you as much as Christ loves you. So stop dwelling in your sin. Stop letting your traumas consume you. You get what I'm saying? When are you going to stop? When are you going to just move on? Move on. Move on. Who cares who hurt you when you was younger? And I'm not saying these things don't matter. But what can we do? What can we do? What can we do about the person who hurt you when you was younger? Nothing, right? We just got to give these issues up to God. 
We just got to find ourselves through God, through Christ. You can't go back in time and not and not be R-A-P-E. You can't go back in time and not be, you know what I'm saying? And and you can't go back in time and escape something traumatic happen to you, happening to you. You just can't. So there's nothing you can do but to give all these things back to Christ. You know, so we need to stop feeling sorry for ourselves. We need to stop wasting our time being sad and depressed because that isn't gonna get you nowhere. Instead of being sad and depressed, instead of doing these things, start spreading positive energy out into the world. And these things will also come back to you. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted you guys for all, anybody who feels like giving up on themselves, for anybody who are going through tough life situations, come back to this video, watch this video. You know, and that's all I got for today, man. Um, if you guys took something valuable or learned something new, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions, man. I really want to hear what you guys got to say about this one. Share this video with a friend because they most definitely, most definitely will need this one, man. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll catch you on the next one. And I'm out.